Hey, John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. This is my last video of the day of my batch of videos. So if my voice is a little tired, you know why. I batch all my videos, by the way, of these high quality ones in one day, because it takes a lot of setup. To, a little tip for you here, if you have something that takes a lot of setup, a lot of times instead of switching between tasks, if you can batch up a bunch of things at one time, that's a, that's a pretty useful uh, way to, uh, to maximize your productivity. Anyway, this email is again in response to my blogging course. You can uh, sign up at Dev Career Boost forward slash blog dash course. It's a free three week course uh, delivered uh, via email. I've gained a lot of responses from this. Uh, anyway, uh, this is from uh, Jeremy. And uh, Jeremy uh, basically, <laughs> it's funny, a lot, I get a lot of this too. He says, I'm not sure if you really read these or not, but if you do, hopefully you can help me out with a question I have. Yes, I do really read. I read all the emails. It takes a long time. Uh, prior, prior to reading this email, I was already set on creating my blog. After reading this email, this is of course a response to one of my blog lessons, um, I've been more motivated to get started as quickly as possible. The thing is, I'm a new programmer and I don't think I can really pick something to specialize in blog-wise. I, I uh, urge you to specialize right in, in, this, in this course, so that's what he's talking about there. Um, he talks about how in 2012 he was separated from the Navy after 12 years of service as an intelligence specialist in the spec ops community. That's pretty dang cool. Um, and I just recently left a job as, par as a private contractor for Special Operations uh, Command. So that's pretty cool. So calm. Hey, <laughs> Jeremy is a real badass here. <laughs> anyway, uh, so uh, while he was in the Navy, he completed his degree in computer information science, and I've always wanted to program. Uh, I was recently presented with the opportunity to take an entry level job programming and I left for it. Okay, cool. Um, so as you can see, I don't really have any specialized programming knowledge to write about. I was thinking about starting a blog called The Fit Programmer. Uh, hey, check, check out getupandcode.com. Uh, but yeah, that, that's pretty cool. Um, but only after I get enough knowledge to not look stupid. Uh, is it okay for beginning programmers to just write about what they're learning? So he goes on to talk about uh, the .NET Rocks episode and, and the, the productivity technique uh, that, I, that I talk about there. But, but the real question here is, is it okay for beginning programmers to write about uh, just about what they're learning? So th this is something that a lot of people who take my blog course and just in general uh, ask me is, and, and there, I think a lot of people starting out, especially beginning programmers, or, or in, in a new field or, or something, they're a little intimidated, they don't feel like they have enough knowledge or, or expertise to be able to teach or to write a blog or you know, to, to, to do the kind of things that I, that I suggest in, in the blog course and how to market yourself as a software developer. And I, I gotta say, the, there is no point at which you cannot share your experience and benefit someone. So if you're just starting out actually, it's actually a good, you're in a, a unique position, right? Because you can share your experience as a beginner. You can relate to other beginners. You only have to be one step ahead of someone. I say this all the time, but it's true. You only have to be one step ahead of someone to teach someone. And sometimes a beginner is better at teaching a beginner than an expert is because the expert, and there's actually like some kind of syndrome for this or, or you know, some phrase, I can't remember it right now, but the expert, uh, it's like the fallacy of the expert or, I don't know. Anyway, the expert sometimes forgets what it's like to be a beginner and they can't, they can't relate to the beginner as well as the beginner can. So there's a huge value in that. And you know what? So what if you're wrong? So what if you, you know, communicate information that's not correct? Someone is going to correct you. It's the internet. Trust me. <laughs> Someone will correct you if you're wrong on the internet. Uh, but so what? So, you know, maybe some more experienced person will come by and, and put a come on your blog and, and teach you something. Good, great, you're learning, right? This is, this is good, just share your experience. Do it in a humble way, right? Especially if you're a beginner. Don't be like, oh, I'm the expert. Don't try to represent something that you're not. But, you know, share it. Share, share what you can. You know, people are going to appreciate it. They're going to resonate with certain personalities, with certain people, right? You know, people that, there's some people that can't stand me. <laughs> it's fine. Don't watch my videos. But a lot of people like the, the approach that I take. And so I'm able to communicate a message to them that wouldn't be communicated in, in another way. Right, so, so there's a huge value, especially with your interesting background, right? This is something I always talk about is, like if you're coming to programming and you have a really interesting background, 
uh, I just talked to someone or, you know, who'd won the contest for my book who was a pastry chef, right? You're like a special ops badass guy. That's cool, right? That's something that you're going to have a unique perspective. Maybe you even do a blog around that where you, you know, you act like a drill sergeant or you, you, you make it all like covert ops type of blog. You're giving a special mission or what, you know, there's a lot of cool things that you can do. Honestly, I don't mean to make it cheesy, but there's, there's a lot of neat stuff that you can do. So, you know, coming from whatever background that you have, and we all have different backgrounds, you know, there, there's always some kind of value that you can bring to the table. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about not knowing what you're talking about. You know, don't put out stuff that you haven't, you know, research at all and that just, you know, total opinion that that doesn't, you know, that's not going to benefit anyone. But, you know, do your research, L share what you're learning. Don't worry if it's 100% correct. Hell, a lot of the stuff I put out, I go back and later I'm like, oh, I was wrong about this. But it's not a big deal, right? It's your, you know, it's, I always say to have um, strong convictions, but hold on to them loosely. And what that means is that what, whatever you learn, you believe it, right? And you're, you'll strongly preach about it and talk about it. But if someone shows you that you're wrong, you're willing to let go of that and, and to turn the other way, to, to, you know, to, to have new information that will change, that will inform your opinion and, and change it. But, but it doesn't mean that you're shy and bashful with presenting the information. You think you know something, go ahead and say it. Again, this is the internet. People will tell you when they believe that you're wrong. That doesn't mean that they're right, but hey, you know, it, it can't hurt. And, and it's good to get a thick skin uh, for this kind of stuff. Don't worry, you're gonna to need to develop this in order to really, you know, the, the, the software development, <laughs> this is kind of funny, you're, you're in special are, are nice and, and, and stuff, but there's a lot of competition, there's a lot of like, egos and stuff involved and you got to be able to navigate that and so just get out there and you know don't worry about it you know i i seeing what you do if, if you're looking, watching this video and you know go from there even if you fall down you're gonna get back up you're gonna figure out what works what doesn't you got to take action don't wait until you become an expert no one's an expert. I'm not. An, what am I an expert in? I'm an expert in sharing my opinion. I'm an expert in in having my particular view on life and, and and sharing the advice and the experience that I have. We're all experts in that. But are is anyone a super expert in you know some obscure part of programming? Sure, there's a, a few people. But if those were those people, don't even blog. So hey, <laughs> provide some value for someone today. Don't worry about it. All right, if you like this video, uh, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to this channel. If you didn't like this video, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel anyway. But, uh, <laughs> but anyway, if you have an email, or if you have a question for me, email me at john at simpleprogram.com and I would love to answer your question on this channel and uh, share it with a friend. Let's grow this, uh, let's grow this channel to like 10,000 by the end of this year. All right, take care and I will talk to you next time.